Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to learn-automation.com. This is Mukesh. Today in this video, we'll discuss how to find XPath in Chrome browser. This is one of the short video which I have created so far. Because in this video, I don't have much to cover. I will simply show you how to find XPath in Chrome browser without any add-on. So in this video, I will be covering small two parts, find the XPath and two small tips. These tips are very important, so do not miss them. So now let's get started. If you want to find XPath for any of the web application, then by default in Chrome browser, we have this inspect option, right? So let me show you with one of the application called Orange HRM Live. So let's say this is the application. If I want to inspect anything, then I have two options. Either I can right click and inspect or else I can press F12 from the keyboard. So let me go with the inspect, inspect way. So this window will open. Here you will find a couple of options, element, console, source, network. So you can see a small option here, this arrow button. Click or select an element in the page to inspect it. So just click on it and you will find the details of any of the web element. So what you need to do, just click here and press Control F. Let me show you in the side window. Okay, it is again not visible for you. Okay, you can see this find and or find by string. Right? So what you need to, you can write your XPath here. You can write your CSS, other selectors here. So if you are not sure how to write XPath and CSS, you can refer my previous video. As of now, let me quickly inspect one more time and I found this name and ID. So if I write my own XPath, let me search this ID, double slash star at the rate ID equal to this. So you can see it is showing one of one. <coughs> it means one matching node found. Okay, if I give some other thing, it might find some other web element. So if I give find an input button with type equal to text, you can see again I'm getting only one. Okay, so you can write your XPath CSS here and you will be able to find the web elements here. You can see options here, you, you can shift this to the left you can shift to the right as well and you can shift at the bottom as well you can see this and if you want separately you can select this option it will come separately okay now another tip is pipeline operator so this is one of the most important operator which i use almost in daily scripting so i can combine two x path with one pipeline operator so it will behave like or either this or this okay so it happens like in, if you are running a script in multiple environments sometimes locator will change so you don't have to change all the previous locators you can write the new locators as well and you can create a pipeline operator so if this works it's fine otherwise it will check for other operator or locator as well <coughs> let me show you Again, if I right click and inspect, it is coming. Let me, yeah. Again, I will press Control F. You can see this small window comes. Now let me write XPath first of all for this same. You can see I have this name. So I will say search and input box where name equal to this. Now you can also see this ID also, right? So chances are very high if name changes, I can write pipe operator. And again, I will write search and input box where ID equal to <coughs> this. <coughs> where ID also text username. So you can see again one matching node, one of one. It means if this works fine, otherwise it will also check this. So it is behaving like OR operator. So let me change this to Mukesh. 
so you can see still it is searching using name right because it is checking either this or this if I change both then it will show zero or zero because now even ID and name both are not matching so you can use this pipeline operator multiple time so if any of the locator works it will find an element and you will get the element which you can use in your script the tip number two you can use the indexes okay so what do I mean by index so let's say you have written some locator or XPath or CSS which is matching with multiple nodes so in spite of going through the Java code iterate the third element second element you can also customize your XPath using this parenthesis index approach so let me show you one example <clears throat> let me click on this link so you can see I have three links with the same name right click this link to open or start a new tab so let me write one X path I will say search or search and web element where text equal to this so you can see with the same X path it is matching three different nodes you can see here right one of three so this is one if I go to second one it is matching the second one if I click one more time it is matching with the third one correct now if I want to iterate to second one so I can use parenthesis at starting and parenthesis at last okay and I can give the indexes like one so it will get the first one if I say two it will get the second one and the third one it's a very short trick but it works okay so whenever you're finding multiple matching nodes so you can use this indexes approach and you can easily trade to the number of web elements okay so in this video we have covered how to find x path using f12 you will get the inspector just press ctrl f you will get the small bar you can write to x path css in tip one we have used one pipeline operator you can write multiple x path so if any of the x path works it will continue tip number two using parenthesis index if you have multiple web element then you can go with this approach that's all i have for this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe to my channel have a nice day bye bye